now we shall excavate for the foundation trench um the foundation trench when we are excavating we need to calculate the center line that is the center line of these uh-huh these walls you see the center line of the trench this is the trench here the trench is 600 millimeters wide to find the center of that trench it shall be 600 divided by 2 which is 300 remember we said this spread is 200 the wall is 200 and the spread on the other side is 200 so where does the 300 mark lie the 300 mark lies at the center of the wall so if we find the center line of the trench it will be the same as the center line for the wall once we find the center line we shall multiply by the width then we multiply by the uh, the thickness of the uh, concrete uh, if you want to know how to calculate center line there's a link at the top end of the screen uh, the right hand top kindly click on that link you'll be able to see in detail how to calculate the center line of such a shape a recess at the corner so we shall take the length 11,000 the width 6,000 the perimeter will be 34,000 then we shall deduct number of corners times uh, the thickness of the trench so 4 times 600 is 2400 so that 4000 minus 2400 is that one 600 that is the center line of the trench now we shall go to the trench depth how do we calculate the trench depth first we shall add all these layers here to know first of all what is the uh, depth of the reduced level uh -huh. this is how you find the reduced level for those who did not understand what i had said you shall take 100 millimeters of concrete it's here uh, 75 millimeters blinding plus hard code retain millimeters so the total thickness of the layers is for 85 then for 85 we shall reduce 200 which is above the ground so how much deep, deeper do we need to excavate uh, under the ground is 285 we already removed 150 uh, when we did, we excavated the vegetable soil so how much uh, deep do we reduce the level so that we can be able to lay the hard core it shall be 285 minus 150 which is 135 all right so uh, so that we can be able to get the depth of the trench we need to excavate you know see we know we excavate from the ground from the reduced level but here in the diagram we have been given the depth from the ground level to the concrete is 1850 concrete 150 plus the blinding 50 we need to know the total depth from the ground level to below the concrete which is 1850 plus 150 plus 50 we get to 50 if it's to 50 and we had already reduced the level and excavated to top soil by 285 uh, so the total depth that we need to excavate is 1765 we excavate in ridges of 1.5 meters so the first stage we shall excavate 1.5 the second stage we shall excavate the remainder which is 265 then we are told rock level is 1000 millimeters from the ground so if the total depth from the ground level to below the the foundation is 2050 and the rock starts a thousand from the ground level so the hot depth shall we excavate the rock it shall be 2050 minus 1000 we get 10 50 millimeters now and when you're coming to booking we shall take the center line of the uh, foundation might we multiply by the width of the trench we multiply by the first stage which is 1.5 excavate foundation trenches commencing at reduced level not exceeding 1.5 meters deep and refill and run the next stage uh, the whose depth is 0 0.27 we shall excavate foundation stretch trenches commencing from 1.5 meters deep all right after the strip level eh, and not exceeding three meters deep so that one we shall write uh that the 1.60 is the center line times the wind of the trench times the remainder of the depth then the rock which usually excavated this extra over excavation on rock so we shall write the center line of the trench the wind of the trench and the depth of the rock that shall be excavated then the rocks do we need them no we shall cut away from the side all right